Hello, my loves. Welcome to your daily love reading for October 14th, 2020. So guys, these readings are timestamped, so you can find the timestamps in the description box below and in the comment section below. Okay, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your daily love reading for October 14th, 2020. Um, so for those of you who are new to the channel, I do have a Cancerian only channel, Cancer Baby Tarot. If you would like to join the Cancer Baby family, the link is below. Okay. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, clarity, guidance and love messages today for my Cancers, please. For October 14th, please, Holy Spirit. So we have unspoken love. You or your partner may prefer, may prefer, excuse me, not to profess your love right away. It could be out of fear of rejection. So Cancer, right now, we are not talking about the lovey-dovey stuff because, you know, we don't know if we're going to be rejected. So let's see here. Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Cancers, please? Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Cancers. So we have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment and trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. So <clears throat> I feel like spirit is telling you to trust in this connection. This person is committed to you. You are committed to them. Um, but you guys are not trusting in the situation. Like you're not trusting that the other person feels the same. So you guys have a fear of speaking about it, a fear of talking about it. Spirit, what clarity and guidance. Love messages today for my cancers, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my cancers, please, spirit. Okay, so let's see here. So we have the four of wands, beautiful 1111 card, divinely guided soulmate here. And we've got the page of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. We've got the Empress, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian energy, and the Magician, Virgo, Gemini energy. The outcome here, we have the Queen of Cups, Cancerian energy, and the Two of Wands. So Cancer, what we have here is someone that's offering stability, someone that's offering commitment, someone that's you know wanting to start a life with you here or you can be offering this to somebody. But I feel like with the magician and the empress, I I'm seeing two people, this person's manifesting, uh, starting a life with you because the empress is birth, it's fertility, it's it's starting something, okay? And here also with that four of wands, this talks about building a life with someone, marriage even possibly. Um, so guys, as someone may be finding out that they're pregnant today, but I feel like both of you are putting the work in here on promising each other forever. You you know, and the outcome here is with the two of wands and the queen of cups, I feel like you guys just have to make that firm decision to say, I love you. I care about you. I want to be with you. Um, and that's it, you know, or cancer, you know, you need to understand that this person is choosing you and only you spirit, what clarity and guidance. I find it interesting with the two of wands here because look at this picture. So we've got this man that is blocking out this little demon. Okay. And the angel is behind him, guiding him and helping him actually, you see that that angel is helping. So, you know, the two of wands generally represents making a decision. But in this particular case, I feel like this is an indication that, you know, cancer, someone here is making a firm decision to, to block out any evil from this connection. And when I say that, I mean, anybody that's causing insecurities, anybody that's causing this connection, any pain or any ill wishes, anybody who's jealous, this person is blocking out any third party from this connection. They want to protect you and they want to protect this connection spirit what clarity and guidance what love messages do we have today for my cancers please all 12 signs please holy spirit all 12 signs for my cancers please so if we're dealing with another cancer such as yourself, I feel like someone here is regretting not working on the connection with you, not giving it the time. If we're dealing with a Scorpio, I feel like someone here is making a decision, but not based on real facts. Someone here is in their head. They think that something is going on, so they're acting on that. So they may not be acting on a truth. It may just be in their head. If we're dealing with a Pisces, um, I feel like that someone here is lying, cheating, 
manipulating, being deceptive. I feel that there's no emotional connection here. Someone may just be taking advantage. If we're dealing with a Virgo, um, I feel like there may be a lot of passionate messages here between you and a Virgo, um, but this person may only be, it's, it's a very shallow energy. This person may only be worried about looks or sexual uh, things. I, and I'm not really seeing commitment. Someone here may just be talking sexual or sexting or asking for nudes or, you know what I'm saying? If we're dealing with a Capricorn, if we're dealing with a Capricorn, there's a lot of love here. You guys are manifesting. If we're dealing with a Taurus, um, I feel like there's going to be jealousy here strife pain heartache somebody here may be jealous over a third party situation if we're dealing with a um aquarius if we're dealing with an aquarius you may be celebrating um or announcing a marriage or announcing that someone here is pregnant or it could be here that somebody uh is actually um married or or in a commitment and you're finding yourself in a third party if we're dealing with a Gemini. If we're dealing with a Gemini, I feel like, um, you know, something happened here, a truth came out, and now it's like slowly, like someone is slowly wanting to come back in and apologize. If we're dealing with a Libra, I feel like someone's, this is over, blockages, I don't want to hear nothing, leave me alone, we're done. Um, if we're dealing with a Leo, I feel like there's definitely going to be an offer for higher level of commitment here, strong soulmate energy. If we're dealing with an Aries, I feel like someone here, um, may want commitment they may want stability but they're kind of holding back like they're way they're not like you know what i'm saying you wouldn't know it they're not showing it if we're dealing with a sag i feel like someone here is coming in with an apology but i wouldn't trust it because this person seems to be toxic okay i love you guys bye hello my loves welcome to your daily love reading for scorpio sun moon rising and venus signs for October 14th, 2020, please spirit for my Scorpios. So we have divinely guided. This love will be divinely guided. Trust the process in this relationship. You are exactly where you need to be. Beautiful Scorpio. Okay, so just know that everything is happening in perfect timing and, and it's happening the way it should be. Um, your angels are watching over this connection. It is coming from the divine. So let's see. Spirit clarity guidance for my Scorpios. So we have new love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings and deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So Scorpio, um, I feel like you're falling in love with somebody, but you're not showing it or vice versa. Okay, so what's happening here is you were divinely guided to meet somebody. You guys are falling in love with someone new. Okay, now this could... Um, the trouble here is that this could be a third party situation where like maybe you're in a relationship here and you might find yourself falling in love with somebody new, uh, but spirit is telling you, listen, don't worry. It's divinely guided. It's meant to be this way. Um, or it could be that someone here is falling in love and they're afraid to speak their peace. So they're not showing, you know, how they feel. Spirit, what messages do we have here for? So we've got the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. We have the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. We have the Seven of Cups and the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Yeah, see, we've got the Eight of Cups and the Six of Cups. So Scorpio, see, here's the deal. Okay. So I feel like what's happening here is we have someone in this relationship that's not trusting. Someone here that's saying, listen, I don't believe you. Something doesn't feel right. Something doesn't seem right. You're talking to other people. Do you see what I'm saying? So one person here has their guard up. Someone's intuition is popping off that something's not right, okay? Um, and I feel like this person is correct because what we have here is with the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles, we've got someone that's offering love and wanting commitment. But from what I'm understanding here, it is not with this Queen of Swords because we've got the Eight of Cups and the Six of Cups. So someone here may either be, um, someone's definitely walking away from something and they may be walking towards an ex um, or they're just leaving the past behind and leaving the situation behind and moving towards something else. So I, I feel like, it, I mean, that could be it too. So there's definitely an energy here of someone has met someone new, okay? Um, but it's happening in a third party situation. So someone's in a relationship right now where someone is catching on or they're starting to realize that there's someone else in the picture and someone here. And I feel like 
I don't feel like someone's going back to an ex because you see the the six of cups is behind this person. So someone here may be leaving the past behind, like they may be leaving their current relationship behind to move towards something new. Okay, let's see here. Scorpio clarity, guidance, love messages towards clarity, guidance, love messages for my Scorpios, please. All 12 signs. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Scorpios, please. All 12 signs. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Scorpios, all 12 signs. So if we're dealing with a Cancer, um, Cancer, if you're dealing, excuse me, Scorpio, if you're dealing with a Cancer, someone here is yearning for a conversation. They're yearning to talk. Um, so you may know this person and be at a distance or not speaking to them, but they're wanting to speak with you. They're missing you sexually. Or this could just be someone that you don't know, Scorpio. They're a Cancer and they're just kind of like sitting on the sidelines wanting to talk to you. This person is very passionate about you. If you're dealing with a Scorpio such as yourself, um, Three of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Soulmate Energy, very strong foundation here. If you're dealing with a Pisces, I feel like someone here makes very quick promises but never keeps them. If we're dealing with a Virgo, um, I feel that... Um, if we're dealing with a Virgo Scorpio, I feel like someone is falling in love and things are changing. Things are changing. If we're dealing um, with a Capricorn, I feel that um, this is going to end because we've got someone here that's lost trust, five of pentacles, leaving someone out. Someone has gone cold. If we're dealing with a Taurus, if we're dealing with a Taurus, I feel like uh, someone here is not speaking their truth. Someone here is not speaking their truth. If we're dealing with an Aquarius, I feel that um, somebody is keeping someone at a distance until they apologize or until they do the right thing. If we're dealing with a Gemini, someone may find out that this person is committed elsewhere. If we're dealing with a Libra, I feel like someone is coming in wanting to apologize or wanting to start a new beginning or wanting to commit and they are being truthful. Um, if we're dealing with a Leo, I feel like this person is withdrawing to figure out what they want. You know what I'm saying? This person is withdrawing to figure out what's best for them. If we're dealing with an Aries, I feel like someone here is working on healing. If we're dealing with a Sag, um, I feel with the Hierophant and the Ten of Cups, this person does want commitment. They do want a Ten of Cups here. They do want a happy family. Um, they do want things to go well. Okay, so that's their intention. I love you guys. Bye. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your daily love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sign, Spirit, with Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages. Do we have here for Pisces, please? October 14th, please, for my Pisces. Love Messages for my Pisces, please, Spirit. So we have new romance. New love will find its way to you. There's an opportunity to experience a positive and new beginning. So this could be you finding someone completely new, Pisces, or it could be that you're rekindling with somebody. Spirit, what clarity, guidance, love messages do we have here for my Pisces, please? Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Pisces, please, Spirit. So we have wedding. The situation involves marriage and we have let go of control issues and allow the situation to unfold naturally. So Pisces, I would be careful here because maybe we're dealing with somebody who is married and you know, you're saying, okay, I'm just not going to, I'm going to see what happens type of thing. Um, let's see here. Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Pisces? Clarity. That's way too many, way too many cards. Spirit, what clarity, guidance, love messages do we have here for my Pisces, please? We have the hanged man, Piscean energy, and the lovers, Gemini energy, the knight of wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy, and the justice card, Libra energy, two of pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, guys, I would be careful here. Really be careful. Seriously, okay? Because what's going to happen here is with the Hangman and the Lover's card, I feel here that you're waiting for someone to make a decision. Someone here may be like on a rebound or someone here is like, oh, yeah, me and my wife or me and my husband are separated right now, yada, yada, yada. Um, but this person is playing games, okay? This person is playing games. Um, and with the Justice card and the Knight of Wands, just be careful because, you know, you don't want to rack up karma. 
karma. You don't want to rack up bad karma here. Two of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. I feel like what's going to end up happening is, is that this person is going to end up reconciling or they're married and lying about what's going on and they're juggling, okay? And they're juggling. So just be careful here. Just be careful here because, you know, with that Justice card and that Knight of Wands, someone here may end up paying a price. They may end up paying karma for this cheating or, or you know, uh, frivolous behavior. And you don't, you don't want to pay that karma, Pisces. Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here? I mean, or this could be a karmic. It can be also. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Pisces, please. All 12 signs. Clarity, guidance, and love messages, please, for my Pisces all 12 signs. So if we're dealing with a cancer, if we're dealing with a cancer, someone here just doesn't want to deal with nothing Pisces. They're pushing this away and leaving, blocking. They don't want to hear nothing. If we're dealing with a Scorpio, I feel like somebody here, um, is taking the risk, taking the chance to come in and apologize or come in with an offer. If we're dealing with a Pisces such as yourself, I feel like you guys are in a commitment here, but someone has it stuck in their head that something is going on. Either someone's cheating or something's being kept from them. If we're dealing with a Virgo, if we're dealing with a Virgo, this person is talking to a lot of other people. Okay, they have their options wide open. If we're dealing with a Capricorn, I feel like someone is untrusting and they have to have a little bit more trust in the divine okay if we're dealing with a Taurus um, if we're dealing with a Taurus this person is rushing into work on this connection they really want to work on this if we're dealing with an Aquarius um, I feel like somebody here wants a second chance but they are not going to get it uh, if we're dealing with a Gemini someone here is realizing a truth or a truth is coming out and someone is feeling very guilty about what's coming out if we're dealing with a Libra I feel like somebody here um, is going to be sabotaging a connection because they want something else or they think that something is better out there for them. If we're dealing with a Leo, if we're dealing with a Leo, I feel like this person, um, they're, they're, they, this person has a lot of secrets. I don't, I don't feel any love here. This person is in this for a reason. They're in this connection for a reason, and it's, it's, it's a, a plan, a strategy. This person maybe needs something from you. If we're dealing with an Aries, I feel like this person feels divinely guided to walk away from this connection. And if we're dealing with a Sag, um, I feel like the truth here is, is that one person has more feelings than the other. Okay. I love you guys. Bye. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your daily love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for October 14th, 2020. Spirit, clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Virgos. So we've got Dom Sub. You could be dating someone that will be very dominant. It's up to you if this is the kind of relationship that you want. So Virgo, we have someone here that may be very controlling and may be expecting you to be very, very submissive, like it's going to be their way or no way. Spirit, what clarity, guidance, love messages do we have here for my Virgos, please? So we've got let go of control issues and allow the situation to unfold naturally. And we've got religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So this person, I'm, I'm getting very strongly, may be really big on scripture or using religion to try to control you, okay? To try to get you to surrender to them, to let things just unfold. But do you understand what I'm saying? Like, oh, you're supposed to be submissive to me or you're not supposed to talk back or you're supposed to, you know what I'm saying, be a woman or you're supposed to be a man. Like someone here, um, it, it's there. they may be using religious issues here to get someone to... Um, um, to control someone, okay, to, to, you know, they want to control you, and they want you to let go of control of yourself, like they want you to surrender, I uh, just be careful here, Virgo, spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Virgos, so we've got the Hierophant Taurus energy, and we have the Ace of Cups, we've got the Queen of Wands, Leo Sag Aries energy, and the Sun, and then we have here the Nine of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. So Virgo, what we have here, 
We have one person that is in love and wanting commitment is what I'm feeling here. One person here is in love and wanting commitment. Now, I feel like this person here um, may speak their truth and say, I only want sex. I only want a third party situation. I'm only looking for a fun time. Okay. I'm only looking for a fun time. And with the eight of pentacles and the nine of swords, I feel like, you know, someone keeps putting work into this connection thinking that it'll reap something um, but that person is going to end up stressing themselves out because this is a very dominant character here so this is someone who's saying listen i'm telling you i only want a third party situation i only want to have fun and that's the way it's going to be period like you know what i'm saying meanwhile someone here may want tradition someone here may want to get married and do whatever like you know but that's not going to happen here that is and and this person is serious when they speak listen Listen, because there's no swaying this person. You could put all that work in. You could do whatever you need to do. It doesn't matter. There's no swaying this person. Spirit, clarity, guidance, and love messages. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Virgos. All 12 signs, please. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Virgos. All 12 signs, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits, and guides. So if we're dealing with a cancer, so if we're dealing with a cancer, someone here is looking back at past mistakes and, um, you know, regretting maybe like I shouldn't have lied. I shouldn't have cheated. I shouldn't have let this person go. If we're dealing with a Scorpio here, I feel like someone is having a commitment anxiety. Like this person has a fear of commitment. If we're dealing with a Pisces, I feel like, um, that's it. Single life is over. You're about to be very, very committed. A mom, a dad, a husband, or a wife. If we're dealing with a Virgo such as yourself, I feel like someone is either talking or sleeping with someone on the side, you know, in secret, or it could be that this person secretly is only in this for the sex. If we're dealing with a Capricorn, um, Someone here has a lot of love. Someone here likes to give small tokens of affection, and that's their love language. If we're dealing with a Taurus, if we're dealing with a Taurus, I feel like someone here has a very huge ego. Um, they, they may be a master manifester or someone here want success in manifesting with you. If we're dealing with an Aquarius, um, I feel here that... Yeah, you're, you're going to pull back from this person and um, this may have been more about passion and less about love and I feel like you're pulling back from that and walking away. If we're dealing with a Gemini, I feel like someone here, so if you're committed to this person, it may not be as strong of a foundation as you thought. Um, you may find out that this person is committed somewhere else possibly or it could be that just out of nowhere you find that you're in a commitment with a Gemini like you didn't even realize it and you're committed. If we're dealing with a Leo a very strong commitment here possibly finding out that someone is pregnant very solid foundation i love it empress king of pentacles if we're dealing with a leo um i feel like we're going to see change from the leo i feel like this person is going to start doing the right thing and putting work into this connection if we're dealing with an aries this person had a lot of love for you but they never showed it but they're rushing in to tell you now if we're dealing with a sag um i feel like this person is trying to procrastinate they don't want to fall in love this is someone who does not want to fall in love they want to wait they want to take their time okay i love you bye hello my loves welcome to your daily love reading for capricorn sun moon rising and venus signs for october 14th spirit what clarity guidance and love messages do we have here for my capricorns please october 14th so we have social expectations. Keeping up the outward appearance but inwardly wasting away is not fair to you or your partner. Learn to let go. So Capricorn, if you are staying in a relationship just because you have to or what would the family say what would my friends say what would our neighbors say that's not a reason to stay in a connection okay that's not a reason to stay in a connection because it's going to just you're going to slowly die inside if we're dealing oh, if we're dealing with listen very soon clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now 
worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life yeah you have to make a, a decision here capricorn you need to make a decision here i feel like you know it's worth it um to leave this situation and wait for the one versus staying stuck in a connection that is just not serving you at all spirit what clarity and guidance what love messages do we have here for my capricorns please spirit clarity guidance love messages for my capricorns please so we have the eight of wands the seven of wands the emperor aries taurus energy and the nine of wands the five of wands and the four of pentacles so capricorn you're in a situation here where whenever you try to have a talk or a conversation it gets blocked or it gets cut off someone here may like to hold back sexually where they cut you off sexually or someone here is really big on the silent treatment or someone here is just blocking your forward movement i feel that with the emperor and the nine of wands this is someone who has very um i feel like this is someone who's hurt, who's tired, and um, they're actually taking control of the situation. They're putting up their boundaries. This is someone who is now wanting to defend themselves. Someone's had enough. The outcome here, we've got the Four of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. I feel like there is a fight that's going to break out here. And with the Four of Pentacles, I feel like someone here is going to hold, start pulling away from a situation, okay? And as soon as you start pulling back from this situation, this person may get jealous and insecure, thinking that you're with someone else, thinking that there's other other people see three of swords under the deck um and the seven of swords <coughs> and the ace of pentacles i feel like you're dipping here you're dipping you don't care if you break this person's heart you're sneaking out maybe in the middle of the night who knows i don't know but you're you're running off to start a new beginning here and you really just don't care you know you just it's like i have to do what's best for me spirit what clarity and guidance what love messages do we have here for my Capricorns, please. All 12 signs. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Capricorns, please. All 12 signs. So if we're dealing with a Cancer, I feel like there's been um, a lot of illusions here, a lot of fogginess, but now someone's seeing clearly and the truth is coming out. If we're dealing with a Scorpio, um, I feel like someone here is about to, they're planning on, on sabotaging this connection. Like they just want this to be over. So they're actually planning an escape. If we're dealing with a Pisces, um, someone here is coming in wanting forgiveness, wanting to do the right thing. If we're dealing with a Virgo, someone here regrets um, not committing regrets wanting to be free regrets taking that risk if we're dealing with a capricorn someone here may find out that um the other person is married okay or committed elsewhere if we're dealing with a taurus i feel like this is way over death card five of pentacles if we're dealing with an aquarius um someone here wants to procrastinate they're not looking to commit right away if we're dealing with a Gemini, this person does is not going to give anything to this connection. Like, they don't want to give anything. If we're dealing with a Libra... Um sorry guys I have to shut that off if we're dealing with a Libra this person wants to stay independent they want to stay single and I feel like it's going to make the other person very jealous if we're dealing with a Leo um if we're dealing with a Leo, I feel like someone here is very guarded and they need healing. Like they may come off as very guarded and cold, but on the inside, they have a lot of hope for this connection. They're just not, they're afraid to, they're afraid to have hope. They're afraid to believe that this may be real. If, <coughs> if we're dealing with an Aries, I feel that we have an offer coming in that is divinely guided. If we're dealing with a Sag, um, if we're dealing with a Sag, I feel like this is going to be really beautiful because you guys have may have a lot of fun making this connection work, okay? Um, now, this could be a representation that there's a third party in the workplace, or it could be that you guys just have a lot of fun together, or that you're reconciling and trying to make things work. I love you guys. Bye. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your daily love message or your daily love reading, excuse me, for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages for my Taurus, please. Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages for my Taurus, please. October 14th, 2020, Holy Spirit. Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages. 
So we've got blocked from love. There may be emotional baggage from the past blocking you from true love. It's time to release it. So Taurus, you have the past that's still following you. And if you don't release that, then, you know, it's, it's you know what I'm saying? You can't move forward. You can't move into a relationship with all that baggage. Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Taurus? We've got romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And then we have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. So I feel that, you know, you just want to be in peace here, Taurus. You, you want to explore your feelings. You want to show love. Um, you know, you want to enjoy somebody. You want to enjoy the feeling of being in love. But, you know, the past keeps coming in and causing problems. Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here? for my Taurus, please. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Taurus, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Taurus, please. October 14th, please, Spirit. We have... Sorry, guys, I got to shut that off. We have the strength card here, Leo Energy. We have the Ace of Pentacles. The Judgment card, Sagittarian Energy. We have the Seven of Swords. Oof, three of Swords. And the Ace of Wands. Okay. So, Taurus, what's happening here is someone is gaining the courage to come in and apologize. Someone is gaining the courage to truly offer commitment here. Um, with the Seven of Swords and the Judgment card, either someone here has pegged someone for a liar and a cheater um, <clears throat> and the trust is gone, or someone here has to decide if they want to give a second chance after someone lied and cheated to them. And with the Ace of wands and the three of swords i definitely feel like someone here either had a one night stand or someone here was talking to a third party that caused you know someone to really get hurt okay that caused someone to get hurt so taurus i don't know you know you have to make that decision here spirit what clarity and guidance what love messages do we have here for my taurus please clarity guidance and love messages for my taurus please Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Taurus, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Taurus, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Taurus. So if we're dealing with a cancer, if we're dealing with a cancer, someone here is realizing the truth about an ex or someone is finding out that maybe there's an ex in the picture. If we're dealing with a Scorpio here, I feel like someone here is making very little promises because they're in player mode. This person is not really looking to commit. If we're dealing with a, um, a Pisces, I feel like someone here, it's very imbalanced. Someone here is very quick to make promises but not keep them. If we're dealing with a Virgo, I feel like someone here may be withdrawing because they're committed elsewhere or someone here is trying to decide if this is what they want, if they want to have that happily ever after. If we're dealing with a Capricorn, I feel like things were stable and now they are not. You thought that this was a solid foundation, but it's crashing down. If you're dealing with a Taurus such as yourself, um, I feel like someone here is nostalgic. Um, there may be someone from the past, like a connection from the past where things were working and now they're not. Or maybe this person is just thinking at the beginning of this connection when things were better. If we're dealing with an Aquarius, I feel like someone here is committed and lying or cheating or maybe lying about their commitment. Uh, their relationship status. If we're dealing with a Gemini, um, someone here may ghost you to feed their ego. If we're dealing with a Libra, I feel like a truth is going to come out about somebody's addiction or the, someone's going to start to realize that someone is toxic. If we're dealing with a Leo, I feel like there's going to be blockages and this is over. If we're dealing with an Aries, I feel like someone here may speak their feelings for you. Like if they love you, they're going to tell you for the first time or someone's going to speak their truth on how they feel. If we're dealing with a Sag, um, someone here may get rejected due to a third party or somebody here may be rejecting a third party or rejecting reconciliation. I love you guys. Bye. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your
I'm sorry, guys. Oh, Aquarius. We're doing Aquarius. I forgot what sign we were on. I'm so sorry. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Aquarius, please, spirit? Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Aquarians, please, spirit. So we have marriage. You will either take your relationship to the next level or you will get married. There's much to celebrate. All right, Aquarius. So that's awesome. So someone here may be getting married or things are just about to get more serious. Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Aquarians, please? Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Aquarians, please. So we've got stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So someone here is really optimistic about a connection here. Someone really wants to put forth that effort. So that's beautiful, Aquarius. Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Aquarians, please, Spirit? Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Aquarians, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Aquarians, please. So we have the Nine of Pentacles, Pre-Empress Energy, Virgo Energy. We've got the Lover's Card here, Gemini Energy. We have the Two of Cups. The Six of Wands, the Hierophant, Taurus Energy, and the Eight of Pentacles. Very beautiful, Aquarius. All right, so what we have here is I feel like someone is realizing that they have met their pre-empress. Someone here is realizing that they have met the one with the Lover's card here. Maybe somebody had two people to choose from, and they're choosing the one that they see as pre-empress material, okay? The gender doesn't matter, guys, okay? Two of Cups and the Six of Wands. Someone here really wants success here. This could be a very strong soulmate connection. We've got two soulmate cards here. Uh, the Hierophant, Divine finally guided. Um, eight of, of pentacles. Someone here wants to work on commitment, on doing things traditionally, okay? Uh, five of wands under the deck. There, may, This may have started as a third party or someone here may have, you know, had to fight for this connection. There may have been some competition, but I feel like someone is making a decision. They've chosen who they want their preempters to be. They've chosen the one that they see as more valuable, and now they're moving forward wanting commitment. Spirit, what clarity and guidance. Love messages here for my Aquarians, please. All 12 signs. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Aquarians, please. All 12 signs, please, Spirit. So if we're dealing with a cancer, if we're dealing with a cancer, I feel like someone is hopeful about this connection, but maybe they're not showing it. This could be a secret admirer, or this could be someone that you're not uh, speaking to, but someone here has a lot of hope or faith, or someone here is watching you, okay? Um, if we're dealing with a Scorpio, I feel like someone has regrets. Someone has regrets and they're missing you. If we're dealing with a Pisces, if we're dealing with a Pisces, this is beautiful. Hierophant, Ten of Pentacles, this is marriage, abundance in every way. Beautiful. If we're dealing with a Virgo, um, I feel like someone here is cutting the other person off for revenge. Like someone here is is, is planning or plotting revenge. If we're dealing with a Capricorn, um, yeah, there's going to be an offer of commitment here, soulmate connection. It may be moving slow, but it is moving towards commitment. If we're dealing with a Taurus, I feel like someone here no longer wants to work on this connection. They don't want to give it anything. If we're dealing with an Aquarius such as yourself, um, someone just wants something to be over here. Someone just wants something to be over and they want to worry about themselves. If we're dealing with a Gemini, I feel like Someone here is wanting to invest in this connection. They feel a strong soul tie. If we're dealing with a Libra, someone here may be finding out that someone is pregnant or they could be finding out that someone is committed elsewhere. If we're dealing with a Leo, if we're dealing with a Leo, someone here is making a decision to protect themselves because they feel that that's the best thing for them. If we're dealing with an Aries, um, I feel like someone is coming to the sudden realization that they are in love. If we're dealing with a, um, a Sag, I feel like someone here is holding back and walking away. I love you guys. Bye. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your daily love reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for October 14th. Please, Spirit, what messages do we have here today for my Geminis? 
So we have materialis materialistic love. Excuse me. Let's hope this relationship is not just about the money and gifts. You'll only end up feeling miserable. So Gemini, I hope someone here is not, you know, using you for money or I hope you're not using someone for money because it's only going to be, uh, you know, it's just going to be miserable. Spirit, what clarity, guidance, love messages do we have here for my Geminis? So we've got soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So I feel here that, guys, we may have a soulmate on our hands, but sometimes soulmates come into our lives to teach us lessons, okay? So you may be dealing with a strong soulmate connection, which means it's hard for you to break away from this person, um, but I feel like the connection feels more like a friendship than it does a love relationship because someone here is in it for the money. They're not. There's no emotion there. Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Geminis, please? Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Geminis. So we have the Six of Pentacles and we have the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. So this is an energy of one person is giving more than the other. And even when that person does give to the connection, they're very slow to do it. We've got the King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, and the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. This person is very smart with how they word things because they give very little, yet they puff themselves up to make it look like they're giving more. We've got the Four of Cups as the outcome, and we've got the Devil, Capricorn energy. Whew. Yeah, so I feel like someone here is going to... Um, reject an offer because they're starting to realize that this is toxic or someone here just doesn't want to take the cup because they're toxic. Someone here is in this for all the wrong reasons with that devil energy. Someone here may just be in it for the money or they may just be in it for what they can get. Eight of cups under the deck. Someone here emotionally is not connected here. Someone here is not, someone here may be feeling alone or rejected because, you know, this connection is, is just, it's, it's not, uh, together for that reason. It has not come together for love. This is only for, you know what I'm saying? For, for material things. Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Taurus, please? Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Taurus, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Taurus, please. All 12 signs. So if we're dealing with a cancer, I feel like there's going to be a lot of communication here about wanting a second chance. Um, there's all, You guys might also be making up and having a lot of sexy time. If we're dealing with a Scorpio, um, if we're dealing with a Scorpio, I feel that... Um, Somebody's not sure if they should stay or if they should go. If we're dealing with a Pisces, I feel like someone here has a lot of feelings and emotions, but they're not showing it and it, it, they're afraid to show their feelings. If we're dealing with a Virgo, if we're dealing with a Virgo, someone from the past is coming in with an offer or an apology. If we're dealing with a Capricorn, um, I feel like things are going to go very quickly if you're dealing with a Capricorn because it's divinely guided to do so. If we're dealing with a Taurus, um, I feel that someone has a decision to make between two people. If we're dealing with an Aquarius, um, someone here does not want to work on this connection. If we're dealing with a Gemini, someone here is taking advantage. They're being very smart, very sneaky, very deceptive. Okay. If we're dealing with a Libra, um, someone here maybe sabotaged the connection or got into a a huge fight really said nasty things and now they're slowly coming in wanting to apologize if we're dealing with a leo i feel like this person is very proud of this connection um i feel like i feel like somebody here just likes to show the other person off if we're dealing with a an aries if we're dealing with an Aries, somebody here is withdrawing because they have a decision to make and they have to figure out what to do. If we're dealing with a Sag, someone here is really overwhelmed and, and like this is just becoming too much for them, but they're not showing it. Okay. I love you. Bye. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your daily love reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for October 14th. 
Spirit, what messages, what clarity oh, and guidance do we have for my Libras? So we have good on paper. You'll date someone because you should, but the um factor is missing. They don't excite you. Oh, Libra. So you have someone here that like, you know what I'm saying? When you go down that list, you check mark everything. They're like the perfect person, um, but there's just something missing there. Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Libras? So we've got new love. A new person has stirred your romantic interest and we've got flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. So this may be someone new, Libra, and you know, you're know you you're trying to keep this in a flirtatious energy um, because you're not sure about this person. Like they look really good. Everything looks really good, but you know, you're just kind of, Keep, you're trying to keep this light because you're just like not sure if this could really work spirit what clarity guidance love messages do we have for my libras so we have the three of cups and we've got the nine of wands we've got the eight of wands and the seven of wands we have the magician virgo gemini energy and we've got the Ten of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. All right, guys, so listen, here's the deal. What I feel like what's ha what happened here is the star under the deck. Uh, Libra, I feel like what happened is, is you manifested somebody um, that had money, someone that was stable, someone that, you know, could take care of you. And you ended up meeting this person. You ended up meeting this person. You were out. You were having a good time. But... I feel like there's blockages here. There's blockages, um, sexual blockages. There, there's a lack of chemistry. This person may try to come on to you sex sexually and you're pushing them away. Um, yeah, because you manifested stability. You manifested finances. You manifested someone that was responsible and stable and all that good stuff. But you forgot to manifest someone that you were also sexually, <laughs> you know, connected to. And I feel like that's what's happening here. When this person tries to come on to you, you're not really feeling in okay um yeah when this person wants to come together with you you're kind of pushing them away and still you're just trying to remain flirty here and keeping things lighthearted and not taking things to what is it first second third base whatever the case may be so that sucks <laughs> that sucks because you met someone that has all 10 of those pentacles but you know there's no there's no passion Spirit, what clarity, guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Libras, please? Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Libras, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Libras, please. So if we're dealing with a cancer, if we're dealing with a cancer, um, I feel like someone is coming in very quickly wanting to apologize or make an offer. If we're dealing with a Scorpio, I feel like someone's guilt is killing them. It's just like over overbearing. If we're dealing with a Pisces, someone here has a lot of third party people. There's a lot of competition, a lot of people that are fighting for your spot. If we're dealing with a, um, a Virgo, I feel like someone here is yearning for family, yearning for, you know what I'm saying, to have forever with you. Marriage, if we're dealing with a Capricorn, I feel like someone here is is in love they're infatuated but they may not be showing it if we're dealing with a Taurus um, this person is is expecting an apology someone here needs to apologize because the other person is hurt if we're dealing with an Aquarius this is a connection where you guys are both working together on having a stable solid lifestyle we've got divinely guided soulmates here if we're dealing with a Gemini, someone here is holding back some serious secrets, okay? They're not opening up fully. If we're dealing with a Libra, I feel like someone here is still in love with their ex. If we're dealing with a... Um, if we're dealing with a Leo, I feel like someone's going to jump in, take that risk, take that leap of faith and commit. If we're dealing with an Aries, um, someone here is very intelligent because one person is getting more out of the connection than the other. So, you know, they're they're very strategic in how they do this. They manage to always twist it where one person gets what they want and the other person gets very little. If we're dealing with a Sag, I feel like someone here is trying to make a decision, but they're very confused. Like they're not seeing things clearly or maybe someone wants a second chance, but the other person feels that it's an illusion. I love you guys. Bye.
Hello, my loves. Welcome to your daily love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for October 14th, 2020. Spirit, what clarity, guidance, love messages do we have here today for my Leos, please? So we have fairy tale romance. This romance will feel magical. It will be an exciting adventure and perhaps a happily ever after. Ooh, Leo. So that's really beautiful. Okay, so we've got fairy tale endings here. Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Leos, please? Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Leos, please, Spirit. We've got heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So I feel like you're going to have a very open connection with this person. You're able to talk and communicate your feelings. And um, you guys make the effort. You're both putting the work in here. Spirit, what clarity, guidance, love messages do we have here for my Leos, please? Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Leos, please. So we've got the Eight of Cups and we have the Six of Cups. We have the Ace of Cups and the Justice card, Libra Energy. We've got the Chariot, Cancerian Energy. And we've got the Magician, Virgo, Gemini, Energy. Beautiful. All right, guys, so what we have here is someone that is leaving the past behind. Someone here that is walking away from exes, the past, whatever. We've got new love here that is very fair and just. Like, they, you know, whatever whatever you give to the connection, they give back. And I feel that with the Chariot and the Magician, um, I feel like you're doing what's best for you and moving towards the type of love that you manifested. Ten of Pentacles under the deck. Beautiful. All right, guys, so that's all good stuff. Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Leos, please? Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Leos, please. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Leos, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity, guidance, love messages for my Leos, please. All 12, oh, too many cards. All 12 signs, please, Spirit. All 12 signs for my Leos, please. Okay, so if we're dealing with a cancer, if we're dealing with a cancer, ooh, um, this may have been a beautiful and abundant connection, but someone here is about to find out um, something very heartbreaking, maybe that someone was with them only for money. If we're dealing with a Scorpio, um, Five of Swords and the Moon, someone here is about to sabotage this connection, but the other person, they're not going to really know why. Like someone knows that there's some a reason behind it um, or a reason behind someone acting that way. We've got the Emperor. If we're dealing with a Pisces, I'm sorry. If we're dealing with a Pisces, we've got the Emperor and the Devil. Somebody here is very controlling, very controlling, maybe even narcissistic. If we're dealing with a Virgo, if we're dealing with a Virgo, we've got someone here coming back with an offer and an apology, wanting to reconcile. If we're dealing with a Capricorn, um, I feel like someone here wants to invest in a connection, but the other person is uh, rejecting it. If we're dealing with a Taurus, I feel like somebody here... Um, Somebody here really wants to work on this connection. If we're dealing with an Aquarius, I feel like someone here is choosing to commit or apologize and start a whole new beginning here. If we're dealing with a Gemini, someone here is too stressed out and just wants to leave this connection. If we're dealing with a Libra, someone here wants to have a successful connection with a solid foundation. If we're dealing with a Leo, such as yourself, I feel like there's going to be a lot of forward movement. You guys are each other's wish fulfillment. If we're dealing with an Aries, I feel like you're going to see a lot of changes in this person they may be more loving towards you and if we're dealing with a sag i feel like this person is honest when they want forever with you or if they want stability with you definitely a um, divinely guided soulmate connection here i love you guys bye hello my loves welcome to your daily love reading for aries sun moon rising and venus signs for october 14th, 2020 Spirit Clarity Guidance and Love Messages for 
my Aries, please. So we have fast lane. Something feels different about this love and you're not afraid to charge ahead. Hopefully this love will last. So we have something here that's moving very, very quickly here, Aries. Something that's moving quickly, but you don't feel afraid. It just feels different. You feel like this may be the one. We've got engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Give your relationship a chance and work on your relationship. You're just like, crap, I'm just going to go with the flow here. I'm going to give this a chance. You may find yourself uh, in a committed relationship very quickly and um, you're just going for it. You're like, I'm going to do it. Screw it. Spirit, what clarity, guidance, love messages do we have here for my Aries, please? So we have the hanged man, Piscean energy, and we've got the ace of wands. We have the king of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, and the four of pentacles. We have Temperance, Sagittarian energy, and we have the Hermit, Virgo energy. So guys, I, I feel here that this is what you guys are normally like. See the Nine of Swords under the deck? I feel like maybe there's one person here that generally waits to have sex. There's one person here that generally waits to commit, okay? They don't usually commit that easily. So guys, this is for both of you. It's not like one person is coming in and they're used to uh, starting relationships quickly. I feel like both of you are generally people that, um, you know, wait before you get into like deep connections and stuff like that. But I feel that the outcome here with temperance and the hermit, um, I feel like there should be this energy of peace or patience and thinking about the situation, but there isn't, okay? There isn't. It's going very fast, and it may be stressing you guys out. You guys might not be showing it. You guys may not be showing it, um, but it is stressing you guys out because I feel like both of you maybe are used to taking things a little bit slower when it comes down to actual commitment, okay? Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for for my Aries, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Aries, please. All 12 signs. Okay, so if we're dealing with a cancer, if we're dealing with a cancer, I feel like someone is going to express their feelings and it's going to be shocking. If we're dealing with a Scorpio, I feel like someone wants revenge. If we're dealing with a Pisces, I feel like someone here um, is either manifesting an ending or someone here was manipulative causing an ending. If we're dealing with a Virgo, someone here is noncommittal and it causes a lot of drama and jealousy. If we're dealing with a Capricorn, someone here is very obsessed or, or just in fact actuated with wanting a second chance um, or someone here is being judged as being toxic if we're dealing with a Taurus there's an ex that's yearning for for you or you're earning for yearning for an ex if we're dealing with an Aquarius someone is rushing in with an apology if we're dealing with a Gemini someone here is juggling and that's why they're breadcrumbing in this connection if we're dealing with a Libra I feel like this is over due to a third party. If we're dealing with a Leo, um, someone here is in love, but they're protecting their heart. They're scared to show it. If we're dealing with an Aries such as yourself, someone here is very successful and likes to be independent. This person is not looking for commitment. If we're dealing with a Sag, um, this person may secretly be thinking about marriage or this person may be secretly married and in a connection and not telling you. So be careful. I love you guys. Bye. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your daily love reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for October 14th, 2020. So we have transformative. This love will be uh, love deeply transformational for something new and powerful to emerge. So this connection that you're in, Sag, mm -hmm. it's going to... Oh my gosh, I just that just scared the crap out of me. Mm -hmm. This connection that you're in is going to be life-changing. It's going to teach you something or change something. We've got children here. And ooh, we've got it safe for you to love and finances and career. So guys, what I'm feeling here is... is I feel like this love is going to take you back to a place of innocence, okay? Maybe you've been so jaded with, you know, worry or anxiety about, you know, cheating and this and that and being guarded. And now this person is forcing you to work on trusting again, working on you going back to that place of being innocent, the beginning, you know what I'm saying, where you didn't have to worry about all of these things. 
Spirit, what messages do we have here? So we've got the Sun card, Leo energy, and we've got the Knight of Wands, Leo Sag, Aries energy. We have the Seven of Cups, and we've got the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, and we have the High Priestess. So, Sag, there's this energy of someone is in love. They're in love and they're afraid to show it, okay? Because with the Sun card here and the Knight of Wands, I feel like someone is scared of finding out a truth that someone's a player, okay? Um, I feel like someone feels like this is too good to be true. It's too good to be true. So someone is in love. They're afraid to show it because they're afraid that they're going to find out that they're wrong, you know? I'm saying or that they were wrong but I feel like this lesson is going to be for you to trust for you to have faith in the divine okay so if we're dealing with a cancer I feel like someone's going to withdraw or someone is withdrawn and the other person doesn't understand why if we're dealing with a Scorpio I feel like someone has their boundaries up and they're pulling back if we're dealing with a um a Pisces I feel like some you guys are working on the connection and it's moving forward if we're dealing with a Virgo I feel like someone is blocking their blessings if we're dealing with a Capricorn I feel like somebody here does not want to forgive if we're dealing with a Taurus this is over if we're dealing with an Aquarius I feel like this person is going to apologize for lying cheating being deceptive if we're dealing with a Gemini this person is cheating they've started a new love affair somewhere else or started talking to someone else if we're dealing with a Libra, um, I feel like this person is cutting the situation off. They're non-emotional about the situation. If we're dealing with a Leo, someone here is rejecting commitment. If we're dealing with an Aries, someone here is being manipulative because they're talking to a lot of people um, or creating confusion and illusions. This person is, uh, yeah, not honest. If we're dealing with a Sag, I feel like someone is leaving the past behind, okay? I love you guys. Bye.